Hello guys, Carol here from uh, True Rock and Roller channel and uh, I, I, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube uh, comparing um, other media Live Gamer Portable with HDPVR2 and Elgato and uh, I watched a few of those and I kinda felt like those people they own only one device and they're trying to do uh, the compar comparison between them and um, I thought I'm gonna I've, I'm gonna make my own video because as you can see I, I own other media live gamer, gamer portable and HDP VR2 and I tested both of them so um, I can talk a little bit about those two I never use Elgato so I'm not gonna talk about it but from my point of view there is not really a winner here you know and many of those videos are trying to convince people that this one is better and others are saying that the other one is better but um i think there is no real winner like um all those devices have their strengths and weaknesses and you should basically go for the one that suits you most so uh, to compare HD PVR2 and other media, I think first first thing to to see is the size that probably will matter for for some people. So as you can see, um, yeah, it's the other media like gamer portable. It's it's really small. It's it's basically size of my phone. So uh, that might count for some of you. Uh, the other thing is quality and I have to say that um, I would say the quality is the same uh, the difference here is that HDP VR 2 uh, the video bitrate the maximum is 14 megabyte per second and other media can go up to 60 megabyte per second and uh, that's a big difference and to be honest, when I record with the max bitrate, um, the other media, the quality is better. You can see it's better. But again, when you upload to YouTube, um, it's basically basically the same. Um, I actually uploaded video to my channel um, when I recorded in 1080p with 60 megabytes per second so uh, you can watch that video and uh, see by yourself that actually after uploading to, to YouTube there is not much difference but when I have raw files on my hard drive I have to say that I, I, I can see the, the difference in quality the, the image is much sharper but again the, the video takes so much space um, so yeah it's it's up to you if if that's something that you want to use um the other thing is many people are talking that other media live gamer portable it's uh it works with xsplit and that's a huge thing for for many people that are streaming but not not of them know that actually um, Hoppage released new drivers and now HDP VR works with XSplit as well so not much not much difference there the other thing was that the software that comes with other media um, you can uh, you can make live commentary you don't have to use external software to record your voice but again uh, not many people know that uh, Hoppage released a new software called um, Hoppage Capture and the same can be done with HDP VR2. The only difference for me is that uh, Live Gamer Portable has this feature which you can choose that it will record your voice to a separate file you can actually choose if you want the live commentary be in the video together in one file or it can be recorded to a separate mp3 file and for many people for myself as well it's a huge thing because 
uh, I use some some editing after you know to remove some awkward coughs or whatever if the phone rings you know just to remove it and so if it's in one file the sound the sound would not be that good if you remove because you would remove the the sound from the game as well mm -hmm. yeah the other thing uh, is that I have to say I have a really old laptop a laptop and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see here yeah so it's just uh, damp okay I, I, I'll just read it for you it's Intel Celeron processor and um, it's only 1.2 gigahertz and it has the uh, graphic card on board it's Intel uh, 4500 mobile HD with uh, one gigabyte of RAM and it has only three gigabyte of DDR3 memory and what's huge for me is that with this laptop with HDP VR I can record when I try to use this laptop to record with other media unfortunately this laptop is is not good enough so even though other media says that it has this powerful processor inside and I believe it has because it can work in PC, PC free mode but still if I use it with a PC I cannot record on this laptop I, I actually had to use another laptop that is above the recommended for other media and then everything works fine when with HDP VR2 I was able to use this laptop. The HDP VR2 does everything in the box and it uses laptop only to um, to save the file. So for me that that's a huge difference, you know. But if you have a good laptop or you use a PC, then there is no problem with other media. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention is what I said already that Live Gamer Portable can work in PC free mode. So for many people that might be something worth checking. Because if if you're mobile, you know, and you go to your friend and you want to record something, it's definitely an awesome device. You just need to use the it actually says here uh, that you need to use uh class 10 uh, SDHC card that has to be formatted to FAT32 so yeah um, I didn't do it myself yet but uh, um, I, I've seen some videos people recording and, and it looks really good and one more thing that I didn't actually tested it but uh, with other media but uh, I have a friend that records uh, fighting games and actually he goes to tournaments and sometimes they are like one day long two days long and with HDP VR he says it's the beast he can record the whole day no problem I would assume it's same with other media but uh, we didn't test it yet so I, I might update it when uh, when he's gonna test it for me so yeah, basically that's it. That's the comparison. You need to choose whenever, whenever device suits you suits you better. Uh, but if it goes to quality and video recording, I think it, there is no winner here. It's you need to choose something that suits you suits you better. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the games.